Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how I organize all of my medical supplies. This was a pretty highly requested video. I've seen a lot of other people do this, and so I figured I'd show you guys how I organize all of my medical supplies. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this cart that I keep next to my bed. So on the top of it, I have feeding tube supplies, and I keep all my formula here, and then once this runs out, I have an extra case. I just refill the top of it. My coconut oil that I put around my stoma, granulation tissue, like cream and stuff like that, with some Q-tips to put on this stuff, along with a change of gauze. And I keep this on the top. Um, this is actually for the balloon in my tube, so if for some reason the balloon were to deflate, I could quickly grab it and fill it back up. And then tape, and so I just keep that right on the top. Then I have my medicines. Then down here I have all of these extra syringes. I literally have so many of them. But then I just have some lotion. This is sterile water that I use to either flush or mix with meds or um, that's the kind of sterile water I would use to fill up the balloon in my tube. And then I have a little mason jar full of some cute tubey pads, like a zebra. Extra rolls of tape and then used tubey pads, which are gross. So that's the cart that sits next to my bed. And then I have this cart that sits by my door. So this was mainly feeding tube supplies. And this is all port supplies. And then I also have this whiteboard on the back of my door that has all of my medications that I take to remind myself so I never forget any. So here's the cart that I keep all my port supplies in. On top I have cute little flowers. They match the uh, flowered wreath. I like flowers. And we have a spare alcohol swab. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I always have a garbage can because anything with medical supplies, you make a ton of trash. So garbage can is essential. Okay, so in the first drawer, I have gloves, hand sanitizer, alcohol swabs, and green caps that go on the end of my line. Then we have saline flushes, heparin flushes, so, and then these are port needles. This is the type of needle that I use, so I keep tons of those. Um, caps for the end of my lines, and bio patches. So that's what's in this drawer. And then in here I keep, these are empty uh, sterile syringes. So my nurse uses these to draw labs every week when she comes to access my port. And then these are sterile salines, which are used when you access your port. You can open this and use it on your sterile field because unlike these syringes, these ones aren't sterile and these ones are, so they don't contaminate your sterile field. So I have sterile saline. Then I have dressings and dressing change kits. And then these are blue pads. They We put them down on the table and then work everything off. They're not sterile. We still have to set up our sterile field, but we put that on, down on top of the table. And then I have, this is the tubing for my IV. So this is the tubing that goes in the pump and runs down and connects to the end of my line. Um, so IV tubing and batteries for my IV pump. This is just extra supplies that we haven't used from dressing change kits. And obviously they cannot be used on my port again because they're not sterile. But I keep these because I find that I'm always needing a tape measure for random things, so I just keep it. And then an extra roll of tape, um, some Steri strips, and an extra dressing. Because I use a different dressing every week when we open a dressing change kit, we're left with this. And obviously it's not sterile, so I cannot use it on my port, but I use it to put Emla cream on beforehand, or numbing cream on, um, so I keep those. And then down here, I just have a whole bunch of extra pick line supplies that obviously I can't use because I don't have a pick line, but like I have all of my pick sleeves and, but I keep them because, well, these were, these weren't cheap and there's a chance that for some reason, if my 
if my port were to get infected or something and they were to place a pick line again, then I could use these. So that's everything that I keep in that cart. And then in here, there's, I'm not going to open it because there's like a ton of things in there. But I keep um, all of my like extra wheelchair, like all the documents and I keep extra sharps containers in there. And I have a box of old IV supplies from when I got peripheral IVs. Um, and if you don't know what a peripheral IV is, it looks just like this. It's the kind that you would get in like the emergency room. Um, but when I was getting those at home, but I don't do that anymore. So I just have a box of those and extra sharps. Containers, my dresser right here. So this looks like a thing of hats, which it is. I'm in love with hats. Beneath it all are all of my feeding tube bags. And then I have this little three drawer thing. So on top of here is blood sugar supplies and numbing cream. And then here I have like more dressing and steri strips. I keep, I always keep scissors for um, tape and stuff like that. And some Q-tips. These are band-aids, um, other gauze, more tape. And then I have, I still have a bunch of Mickey extensions. Even though right now I don't have a Mickey button, I might in the future. So I, I just want to keep them around because they're nice to have. So I have some Mickey extensions. And then I have some extensions from when I had my NJ tube. Which these you can use on pretty much any tube. But there's not really a need for it right now. So I have those. And then down here I keep an, even more syringes. Then I have a whole bunch of gauze and like wrap right here so when i had my really long tube when i first got it it was really heavy and this kind of wrap it it like wraps it can fit around your entire stomach and it just kind of like held the tube in place so it's called surgilast but they keep sending me boxes of this as well and i've actually started throwing it away because there's no way i could ever possibly even use up one box of this let alone like 10. So, I have three boxes of those, and then more Mickey extensions right here. That I keep full of other medical stuff, like documents whenever I get, like, booklets or something like that. I have my TENS unit, a ton of ACE wrap. There's, a, there's some medicine in here. There's, like, we have this. I keep this in here. Magnesium citrate. I apologize if any of you guys have to know what this is. Um, then... I have my old pill containers because now most of my medications are liquid. Just some random pill containers. I actually have a hospital gown one time that got left in my bag and I have no idea why that's still in there. Um, and then I have, this is where I keep a lot of my braces, otherwise they're kept underneath of my bed. But like knee braces, um, wrist braces, all my slings, more medicines, more braces. So yeah, this is just like my medical junk drawer that like I never use. Why in the world is there a sock in here? It's stuck to the brace. Whatever. So yeah, this is just kind of like my medical junk drawer where everything just gets shoved and never seen again. Oops. As you can see, all of my other drawers are pretty organized and um, you can tell which one I really don't use a lot. Okay, so then I have this mini fridge for my room. In the top is the freezer, and I just keep a ton of ice packs because it's not the safest when I get up in the middle of the night. I That's when I fall and pass out the most is in the middle of the night. So the things that I need most often are like some sort of drink or ice packs for pain or nausea or whatever. So I keep a bunch of ice packs in my room. In this drawer right here, I keep my infusion bags, and then my refrigerated medication is right there. So that's what's in my fridge. And then I think the last thing is just I keep my sharps container right behind there by, this is all my school stuff. So there's all my medical supplies for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you have any more video suggestions, comment those down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!